It has been a week. Emerald crab, blenny, hermit crabs, 40 snails, eight new corals, and 12 clownfish. This has been one of the best weeks for me ever in this hobby. And it's thanks to three companies, to Marine Depot, to Coral Vault, and to Sea and Reef. You don't want to miss this episode of the gallery. It's going to be a long one, but we're going to break it down into three acts. So without further ado, here you go. Act one. Are these delivery days? I feel like I get this text message every single morning from FedEx as I sign up for the alerts and it says your package will arrive by noon. It never arrives by noon. This is, this is where it would be right here. Right here, is it there? No, it's not there. Look everybody, look. Can you see? What time it is, just arrived. A little bit late, but no big deal. So let's go check it out. I'm positive I overbought this time. So let's just do a really quick unboxing and then we'll drip acclimate it. But that's two boxes. I definitely <laughs> overbought. Oh my goodness. No. I think I can carry this and this at the same time. What do you think? Oh, I got it. Okay, good. All right, let me just put everything down here. I'll get everything set up. Two boxes, two boxes this time around. One, two. That's a lot of boxes. Right, let's make this quick and relatively, relatively painless. All right, what do we got? Okay, evidently I got a sailfin algae blenny. I completely forgot about that. Okay, um, I'm not I'm not sure which tank to put her in. I don't know. Um, okay, well, good job, me. What do we got here? 25, but this is obviously not all in one. 25, Astria snails. Good, now I have plenty. Now I have plenty of Astria snails. That should be plenty. Um, Emerald crab. Never had these. I'll put one in each tank. No, we're learning here. We're learning. Okay, that's box one. Oh, this one is from Wisconsin. Okay. So, okay, so this just looks like one ginormous thing of Sarah snails. It's been it's been floating for like an hour. I'm curious what the temperature is. So let's just take one of these and check. The water in the tank was 76.3, so I'm curious to know what this is. Oh, 76.1, pretty much perfect. Okay, let's get going here. Okay, so I'm just thinking here. So I got the algae eating blenny for the 24 gallon tank that has all of the uh, green hair algae. And then I put three serifs just for the sand bed. I got 25, so I could probably put a, put a couple more over there. Four, five, and then I got 25 trochus, sorry, 25 astria. I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, that leads for this side. I have those two really cool blue leg looking hermits. They're huge. The only problem with putting them on the left hand side in the clownfish harem tank is that there aren't a lot of empty shells. So I'm assuming that some things are gonna die and they'll be able to take those. So I'll put those over there and then the uh, emerald crab goes over there as well. And then I think I have what? 15 Astria snails and 15 Sarah snails. So I think that'll be pretty good. So let's just let them drip acclimate for a little while and then we'll go from there. I totally forgot it was coming today. It's the best part of my day. 
Okay, okay. So I didn't actually forget about the package, but this has been a little while in the making, and this is from a company called Coral Vault. A lot of you probably actually know Coral Vault as Tyler's Tanks. Tyler used to live in California, now he lives in Texas, and he you know, has a full-time job, but he also loves this hobby. So he ended up, you know, selling stuff out of the garage, you know, then his family moved all the way to Texas. And he opened up a brand new shop, a retail shop, which is amazing. I wish he still lived in California so I could go visit it, but it is more than just a shop. And not only that, but he's also leased the place next door and he's opening up his own coral farm. This is my first ever shipment from Coral Vault, so I'm really excited to see how it goes. So go ahead and check it out. It's coral-vault.com, coralvault.com. He just launched a website. He's got tons of stuff up there. He's doing what you see is what you get. He's doing his own coral grow out, and he also has a whole bunch of imported stuff as well. What do you guys think's in here? I said softies and LPS corals, so I don't know. Maybe some make hands, maybe. I mean, do you think I'm lucky enough to get a torch or a hammer or something? I, I don't know. I am I am stoked. Dude, check. I have always wanted some of these for when I go to the shows, but I've never had a pair. Look at it. Here we go. Coralvault.com. These are perfect for when you go to Macna or Reef of Palooza so that you can just put them on. They're orange tinted and you can like check out all the corals because all the corals are under such blue light. This is perfect, Tyler. Thank you. These are fantastic. Thanks for sending these my way. What else we got here? Here's the grand moment we've all been waiting for. What did he send me? I have no idea what he sent me. A little chilly. We'll get it soaking here soon. Not a problem. Okay, so here's what he got me. Here's his packaging. The bags are dry. That is always a good thing. This bag is packed with all sorts of small frags. Same with this bag right here. I see Zoas, I see Acans. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's open one at a time. Oh man, you have to start out with one I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Huh? Okay, number one, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Is it a Cyphastria? War Coral? <laughs> so embarrassing. Okay, here's number two. I'll, I will show you guys these closer up and I will even show you them tomorrow so that you know exactly what they are. Oh, this is this has got to be a, a, a hammer. No, it's a hammer. <gasps> you sent me a hammer coral? What? Coral vault. Are you kidding me? You sent me a hammer coral? How amazing is that? So I got a hammer. I, I could actually name that one. I have no idea. It's very small. Oh, there's two of them. They're very, very small. I don't know what they are. I don't know. We'll have to look at this later, all right? Very small. Dude, this is a frog spawn. He sent me a frog spawn. There it is, okay. <gasps> look at that. Frog spawn. Definitely a frog spawn. Frog spawn's my favorite coral. It is. I'm just gonna say it. My favorite coral. Some sort of acans. We don't know what it is because they're all pulled in, but we definitely have a whole bunch of acans. <gasps> When I said a whole bunch of acans, I didn't mean acans. I meant zoas. Obviously, for anybody watching this, I meant zoas. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said acans. I meant zoas. Zoas. Because this, these are acans. Oh my goodness. Acans are favia or favites. Look at those. I can't, probably can't even see them. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, last one. Zoas. Looks like more zoas. Everyone loves zoas. I love zoas too. Okay, we don't know what they are, but there's one, two, so let's go ahead and get these started, temperature acclimating, and then we'll set up the drip acclimation and we'll set up the coral dip procedure that I go through as well. And then we'll be back and we'll show you what we got.
I need to move a few corals around. Let me show the other side. So this doesn't give you quite as much depth, but the larger things in the background, the anthelia, the mushroom, the toadstool, they're actually kind of far in the back. And then all these smaller ones are up front. So let me just take them in really close. All right, check this out. See, top down view. Plenty of space, I think, especially right here. The only issue I'm gonna have, I got the AI light over here and the Kessel over here, and the par down here is pretty good. The par down here is like 150, but the par underneath the Kessel light is a lot lower. So I just wanna make sure that I move like all the soft corals over here. That way there's enough space directly under the AI light for the new LPS corals that are coming from Coral Ball. Got a bit of a process to go through with these coral vault corals. There's like three stages of dipping that I do. I'm not gonna subject you guys to it all. I think I've made videos on it already, but I do wanna show you guys what the corals look like as I pull them off of their frag plugs for the first time, and then we'll just do a little time lapse and we'll show you the end result basically tomorrow, all right? All right, so here we go. All right, these are some sort of zoa. I don't know what kind they are. I guess embarrassing. I don't know the names. Well, some more zoas. Some more zoas. I think it's a hammer, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna get this off without breaking it into twenty thousand pieces. There. One day I'll learn names of corals one day. But until that time, you know what? I still appreciate them. I have no idea what this is. It's all, I have no idea. No idea what that is. We'll see you tomorrow. I can't tell. I think this is a frog spawn. Actually, I think the other one was a hammer. It's impossible to tell until tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna leave them in here seven minutes. I'll do my whole thing. We'll do a little time lapse and then we'll come back. I'll show them to you tonight under the blues, but then we'll have to come back tomorrow so you can see what they look like tomorrow. Tyler from Coral Vault, thank you so much. What a fantastic goodie bag that you sent me. I'm really excited about it. Congratulations on the new store and on the Coral Farm. I can't wait to get out to Texas to see them myself. Everybody, if you're watching this, check them out, coral-vault.com. Here it is the morning after getting the coral vault corals they're all open and gorgeous and i just asked the owner tyler i was like can you tell me the names of these so i don't sound like an idiot so i'm about to tell you the names of the corals and trust me i didn't know the names of the corals so tyler was super great first up we have a prism favia all right in the background i believe it is the jack-o-lantern lepto super cool orange and some yellow colors in the foreground, these are eagle eye zoas. Really pretty. And I think there's like eight heads already on them. All right, these aren't turned right. I mistook these for zoas yesterday. These are actually super freak mushrooms. Oh my goodness, this is my first ever bounce mushroom. This is wild from Indonesia. Look, you can see the little bubble on it. Oh, it's so cool. I've never had one of these. Awesome. Oh, these two look so terrific. And I was right. On the left, we have, it looks like some sort of toxic hammer. And check this out. I actually have almost the exact same colorations with two heads right behind it that I've had for quite a while. So, and then this is a frog spawn. I'm not sure the name of this one. They might call it, they might call it, it might be one of those like orange octo spawns, but super pretty. This is the last one, the eighth frag. It is the Kung Fu Fighter Zoas. I got so many Zoas now. I can't wait. And they're actually growing a lot. So I need to start making some little Zoa rocks. (sighs) 
I want to level with you guys. It's a really big day today and I'm super nervous. I can't remember being nervous about this hobby in a long time, if ever. Yeah, my stomach's off and I'm just really, really nervous because today we get the clownfish and there's so many things that go into that. Number one, I have never done a clownfish harem tank before and the last thing I want is to get these 10 beautiful clownfish and have them die. Like I feel that weight of responsibility. Not only that, but there are also anemones coming next week. And for anybody who's watched me and knows me, I am terrible with anemones and I'm trying to do everything right. And yet at the same time, this is an experiment. This is a clownfish harem tank that is by all accounts too small. It's a 40 gallon tank more or less with 20 gallons in the sump. And most people, the research I've done say 60 to 75 gallons is the smallest tank you should do. So that makes me really, really nervous. Not only does the livestock loss make me nervous, but there have been so many people, different friends, different hobbyists, different companies who have stepped up and helped me do this. I, let me just be real with you know, I didn't pay for this tank. I didn't pay for this light. I didn't pay for the equipment. The fish that are coming today are being incredibly generously donated from Sea and Reef and Marine Depot, which is amazing. I mean, Sea and Reef, if you don't know them, they're a New England based company started in the early 2000s and they produce some of the most beautiful variant types of clownfish out there from some standard simple percula to all the crazy colors of ocelars that you see. The fish are captive bred, they're more docile, they don't come with diseases, they're just fantastic and they're gorgeous and and I'm so grateful to Sea and Reef and to Marine Depot for giving me these that I just feel this weight of responsibility <laughs> to do everything in my power to make sure that they're healthy. It's a big day. It's a really big day. I've been working on this tank for months and the clownfish are finally here. So I am just hoping they arrive safely. I'm hoping that they're healthy and I'm hoping that everything that I've learned in this hobby and my experience, both the good and the bad, will pay off and this will be successful. Because I wanna share with you guys success. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, I'll let you guys know, but it will be heartbreaking and it will be hard for me to tell you. It's here, it's here. The harem tank I've dreamt of for 13 years is finally at the point where it's make or break. And I'm I'm so nervous. I can't even describe to you how, ner how nervous I am. I've had this dream for so many years and today I get the clownfish and next week I get 10 to 15 anemones. And the only way to make this work in this, in this Lux 90 tank that I know of is to do heavy feeding, to have a decent aquascape so that the clownfish can escape aggression and to have habitat, right? And by habitat, I mean lots and lots of anemones. So if I can't successfully keep anemones, this whole experiment is doomed from the start. This is what I got. We're going with the premium black ice, Ocelaris clownfish. And according to this, this is a unique blend of the premium snowflake that they have, have created and a mix with a black Darwin Ocellaris. The premium has much more white than the non-premium. It is gonna be a gorgeous, and 10 of them, 10. I, I, no joke, 10 of them, okay? Here she is. <gasps> this is where it happens. <laughs> this is full of clownfish. This is full of clownfish. <gasps> wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Hold up, hold up right there, wait. I'll be right back, wait. <gasps> they gave me a t-shirt, look, they gave me a t-shirt too. Sea and Reef, orange clowns, check it out. Check it out, look at that. Oh, are they the best or what? And a t-shirt, Sea and Reef. You guys are just knocking this out of the park. Okay, what else we got? Number one. Premium black. I need to turn off my auto top off because all that extra water volume is gonna set that alarm off. Premium black ice. Looks alive and healthy. We'll just speed this up a little bit, okay? Here's number three. Number four. Number five. 
Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. No joke, guys. This could be the best day of my life. Okay. And my daughter was born, and when I married my wife, this is a close third. <laughs> a close third. Oh my goodness, everybody. There are more than nine fish in here. <laughs> wait until you wait until you oh, wait until you see nine. Okay. Oh my goodness. Here's number 10. This should be the end. This should be the end, but it's not. <laughs> There's two more in here. Two more in here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. One more premium black eyes. Number 11. But guess what else there is? One more. Guess what it is? This is one of the very rare long fin black storms. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Wow. A bonus long fin black storm. Scene Reef, you guys have outdone yourselves. T-shirts, two extra bonus clownfish, one long fin bonus? Are you, are you guys kidding me? Okay, I'm both excited and nervous. Okay, let me show you guys some clips and we will come back in a little bit, probably tomorrow, with the lights on and with all these amazing premium black ice. This time trying to get these clownfish to slow down. They are swimming like crazy all over the tank. I'll tell you a little bit of a funny story. So I worked with a colleague of mine over at Marine Depot who will remain nameless. And this colleague was my contact with CN Reef. They sent me over the list of all the products CN Reef had available. And he said, what do you want? And I looked through it and I was like, you know what? I'm a simple guy, simple taste. I like standard percula, nothing fancy. So I was like, how about you give me 10 percula clownfish? And I get an email back and a text message back that said, no, I hate it. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, whatever you want. So we talked about it and we wanted to choose something a little bit cooler. Even though I think standard clownfish are cool, my colleague convinced me to go with these premium black ice clownfish. And let me tell you something, he was 100% right. Under these lights, they are stunning. There's almost blue tints to some of their bodies, which is just mesmerizing. Not only that, but Sea and Reef went above and beyond and unbeknownst to me, sent me two premium long fin black ice clownfish. Now, let me tell you guys something. I told my colleague over at Marine Depot was like, he's like, how about the long fins? And I'm like, well, first of all, they're really expensive. And second of all, man, yeah, I don't really like long fins. And my colleague was like, I love the long fins. And I was like, yeah, I don't really like them, right? When I opened up the package and I saw them, no big deal. But then this morning and throughout the day staring at them, I love these long <laughs> fin clowns. I never thought 
I would. They are just so unique and so gorgeous, and their colorations are out of this world. I, I, I don't know, I, I owe my colleague a huge mea culpa because unless Sea and Reef would have included these in the shipment, unbeknownst to me, I would never have gotten them because let's be honest here too, they're really expensive right now. They look great, they're healthy. I will try my best over the coming days and weeks to get you tons of good footage. I just spent an hour trying to get good footage, but all these clowns wanna do is swim from one side to the other. So here is some footage of the clowns clowns swimming around. Everyone's healthy. There's 12 last night. There's 12 today. No signs of disease. Believe the hype. Sea and Reef, you guys have fantastic looking clowns. Super clean, super friendly. They come right up to me, which is awesome. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. Be sure to tune in next week, everybody, because next episode, I will be getting at least 10 anemones. No joke. I have a shipment of 10 anemones coming in. So this clownfish harem tank is finally taken off. And as always, thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Happy reefing, be well. We'll see you next week.